Oh, okay, amen. Their we're battery is low. Oh, okay, we're going to pray that that battery uh, lasts long. We know that God can give us eternal life. He can give that battery eternal life. So let's have a word of prayer. Father in heaven, Lord, we just lift you up in a mighty way. Lord, we just uh, pray that you would um, continue to be with us. Uh, and uh, we just praise you. And you said you you inhabit our praises. And so, Lord, we know that this is our strength. The strength of the Lord, this, our strength is the joy of the Lord and, and being joyful in the Lord. Uh, we want to have the kings uh, shout among us. And so, Lord, we just pray that our lives would be uh, aligned with your word and that you would forgive us for our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness and that you would send your Holy Spirit to teach us and guide us today. And we already know that you have been working and um, orchestrating our lives to help us understand what we're about to read. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. So we're going to go ahead and um, we've been stopping around, hopefully around eight o'clock. So we're going to uh, try to make that time frame here. Um, but at this time, we're going to ask um, Sister Kim, would you like to read this first paragraph and then go ahead and read the question after and we'll look at the, the scripture after we read the question. Okay. Only a short time did Jesus have alone with his beloved let me move, ones, but how precious to them were those few moments. They talked together regarding the work of the gospel and the possibility of making their labor more effective in reaching the people. As Jesus opened to them the treasures of truth, they were vitalized by divine power and inspired with hope and courage. Mm. Okay, the question reads, in the few moments Jesus and the disciples had to themselves, what did they discuss? They discussed the short time Jesus had along with the beloved ones, how precious to them were those few minutes. They talked together regarding the work of the gospel and the possibility of making their labor more effective in reaching the people. Mm. So um, not only are we to talk about the gospel, but also we're just like Jesus and the disciples, they talked about how to be more effective in reaching the people, mm -hmm. just finding different ways and opportunities to reach the people. Mm. Yes. And so, you know, these are the things that we are, are should be uh, discussing. Um, and one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to send out postcards to the people in the neighborhood, neighborhood around our church, our church. Nice. And so uh, as we're doing that and, um, you know, hopefully the people will respond um, and we're looking at, uh, you know, using a QR code in order for them to scan those who are tech savvy, scan the cards, and they can go to our website and then they mm. can uh, get prayer, they can get Bible study, they can get uh, health information. Um, I'm just, we just, we just got to be creative, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. We just got to, you know, use that because it's not always just knocking on doors yes. or handing out Bible tracks. Um, you know, there, and we have to, I mean, if we want to get out of here fast, mm -hmm. we need yes. to speed up the work. Yeah. So mm -hmm. let's go to that being said, let's go to second Peter chapter three and verse 12. Second Peter okay. chapter three yeah. and verse 12. And Brother Danny, if you can read that when you get there, Second Peter chapter three, verse twelve. Looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire. And the elements will melt with fervent heat. Mm. 
That's interesting. I got to I got to study that because that's a question mark at the end. So that's a question. So we should be looking for and hastening, 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 hastening the coming, which means speeding mm -hmm. up. We need to find a way to be more productive. And th here, this was the conversation of the disciples in Jesus in the few moments that they had together. Mm -hmm. So this is what we should be doing. Uh, also, another thing is, I think I told some of you that I'm going to start making t-shirts with the Christian sayings. You can see I have a t-shirt, but I didn't make this one, but I will make more t-shirts with Christian sayings on there and then the QR code on the back. Mm -hmm. And many of them will be talking about our doctrines of our church and things like that. And if, and if they want to know more, we're going to say, if you want to know more, scan me scan the the, mm -hmm. the the qr code that's going to how, take them through a bible study uh-huh how do you generate a qr code there's it, apps that you can uh -huh. get okay you generate yeah oh, okay and then um it, you can just do it so it takes you to like a website yes okay usually on people's phones on the camera Mm -hmm. The camera will, you can just yeah. turn on your camera and you can uh -huh. uh, put it up against the, uh, show the QR code mm -hmm. and then it'll bring up a, uh, a place where you can push to go to that website and oh, then mm -hmm. it will take you directly to that website. Okay. Yeah. So it's pretty simple. Uh, doesn't, uh, this one I'm using, it doesn't cost anything. And, um, you know, there, you know, that I was just listening to the um, leadership uh, class uh, from the Seventh Day Adventist Church, and they they were talking about using technology to, you know, get the word out. And we know that the printing press was the first thing that was printed on there was the Bible, if I'm not mistaken, or at least one of the first things. Right. Surely they made a good use of it. So. God is allowing these things for the to you know get out faster to get the word out faster because he wants to get this word out fast and so we need to use that it was used to uh, print these bibles um, and mm -hmm. now uh, we have all these other uh, ways of doing it so and even more ways will come later so let's look at this next paragraph we're going to ask brother anthony if you can read the paragraph then the question, and then we're going to go to the scripture. Uh oh, brother, you're it? muted. Oh yeah, you're muted. There we go. But soon he was again sought for by the multitude supposing that he had gone to his usual place of retirement, the people followed him hither. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His hope to gain even one hour of rest was frustrated, but in the depths of his pure, compassionate heart, the good shepherd of the sheep had only love and pity for these restless thirsting soul. All day he ministered to their needs and at evening dismissed them to go to their homes and rest. Okay, so the question there, if you could read that one. When did Jesus dismiss the people he was ministering to? Well, it says the evening. Even right, you know, some people feel like, okay, if we're if we're gonna do Bible work, we gotta do it all day, all night, non-stop, ceaseless. Mm. You know, we gotta do. No, sometimes it is time to stop and lick your wounds, <laughs> right? And charge your battery. And exactly. Battery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely. So. Um, it's this is very important. Um, yes. Let's go to this is how important it is. Let's go to Psalms chapter one twenty seven. 
Psalms chapter 127. There was another verse that I was thinking of that I didn't put in here. But it's in Job, and it talks about how our uh, the instructions are sealed when we sleep. The instructions are sealed when we sleep. So God teaches us all through the day. He taught the, the um, multitude all through the day. And then uh, the instruction was sealed when they went home to rest. Okay, so we're in Psalms 127. And looking at verses one, uh, one and two, I don't, I missed that one there. So we're going to look at verses one and two. It says, except it. oh, you got it? Okay, yeah. Go ahead and read it. Unless the Lord builds the house, the labor in vain, who build, build it? Mm -hmm. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrow, for his, for so he gives his beloved sleep. Amen. So we need that rest. Mm -hmm. Amen. Brother Amen. Anthony, we're talking about the, you know, the fact that he was just going to work and coming home and getting some rest and then getting up and going to work. And so uh, my brother was, they were talking about, I was talking to my mom earlier and she was saying the same thing with my brother. He will work from nine to 11 and then they wanted to no. come back to work at five in the morning. And, oh, that's terrible. Yeah, this, they just, they'll that's, work you into the grave. Yeah, that's no life. Yep, work you into the grave. Um, and especially I was saying, if you let them. Say again. Oh, yeah. I said, especially if you let them. Oh, yes. We need to, we need to be able to say no. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so exactly. even Jesus here, when the multitude came to him and they were asking for, you know, uh, healing and teaching, he dismissed them at even. It's time to go home and you need to go rest. And think about what I just said to you and what all that happened today. So uh, here, Jesus is exemplifying the fact that we need rest. We need to rest our bodies, you know, and, and I've, and I, you know, I, I think I've, I've been working a little hard, not as hard as most people. Um, and um, for some reason, for this last week, because I've been working a lot um, more than usual, my arm my muscle has been twitching mm. just this muscle right here in this hand has just been twitching all night all night i'll be i'll go while i'm sleeping it's still it's just twitching and i can it wakes me up and i'm like what is going on so i looked it up on the internet and they said you're not getting enough sleep oh. you're not getting enough rest oh i thought that was from anxiety <laughs> wow because i'm I haven't been stressing about it pretty much anything, but part of it could be, yes, that can happen too. I think they did say that it could be stress as well. I can. Well, and it's easy to be stressed when you don't get enough rest. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think brother Anthony was going to say something. I said, I can attest to that. Um, you get anxious, you get, concerned and worried and sometimes even when you go to bed you have difficulty falling asleep mm -hmm. and and what we just read is where god is without using the words he's telling us that we got to have some balance mm -hmm. exactly self-care is not selfishness mm -hmm. let me say that again self-care is not selfishness amen even jesus says he says he says love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul and with all your strength and love your neighbor as what 
yourself. yourself. Yes. So the question is, if you don't love yourself, can you really love your neighbor? Mm. No. Not the dog. You gotta have a balance. Yes. You can help people and love them and this and that and the other. And I, I was talking to a lady, she was talking about how she had heart surgery and I, brother Anthony knows um, who, who I'm talking about. And she, she said, oh, but I gotta go help my patients. But I mm. said, look, if you're dead, you can't help anybody. Right. So what was, you gotta rest. You gotta take your time and rest and then you can come back and help those people later. So the savior is, is showing us the ways we should go. Okay, let's see. Um, Sister Delana, would you like to read this next paragraph? Uh, I, you know, I left my glasses in the car. I'm sorry. Oh, I, no worries. Sorry. Yeah. I'll read it. Thank you. In a life wholly devoted to the good of others, the Savior found it necessary to turn aside from ceaseless activity and contact with human needs to seek retirement and unbroken communion with his father. As the throng that had followed him depart, he goes into the mountains and there, alone with God, pours out his soul in prayer for these sinful, suffering, needy ones. And the question is, does God require ceaseless activity in ministering to the people? And no. the answer is no. Right. So we have to take that time and, uh, you know, seek retirement. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe I should say that again seek retirement <laughs> <laughs> let those who have an ear let them hear what the spirit is saying to the church seek retirement <laughs> the big thing is the unbroken communion with his father you know what if we don't have if we have broken communion with with the father how are we really re, are we really helping other people not. We're not helping them at all. Yes, because we're not leading them to everlasting life. Because we're our communion with, with the Father is broken. And that is, mm -hmm. as it says in John chapter 17, and I'm going to read that in your hearing. I just thought about that verse right now. John chapter 17 and verse 3, it says, This is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. So that, that time of communion with the Father is, at, is the utmost importance. It is the pinnacle of everything. Nothing is going to go in, a, in, in the right way, uh, as far mm -hmm. as we can see it, it without the uh, communion with the Father. Yeah, we, we cannot reflect the character of God if we don't spend time with him. Exactly. And so, as I've said before, we need to live between the mountain and the multitude. The mountain is spending time with the Father. The multitude is doing the work of the Father. Mm -hmm. doing, his, doing his work, going in and ministering to people in various different ways. So we need to live between the mountain and the multitude. And there's going to be a time, there's a time where we need to be in the mountains. And then there's a time where we need to be among the multitude. And so um, if we keep that cycle, uh, I believe that um, God is going to bring us through to the end. That's how we're going to endure. Amen. 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 I think. Sister Adriana, can you read this next paragraph? Yes. When Jesus said to his disciples that the harvest was great and the laborers were few, he did not urge upon them the necessity of ceaseless toil, 
but bade them pray therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest, Matthew 9.38. To his toil-worn workers today, as really as to his first disciples, he speaks these words of compassion. Come ye yourselves apart and rest a while. Hmm. Man. Okay, and the question? Because the harvest is plentiful, what should we pray for? We should pray for more workers. Because uh -huh. mm -hmm. even though it, it seems like the spirit has completely been withdrawn from this earth, all the things that we're hearing on the news and mm, right. uh, in just in our daily walk, talking to people, uh, just driving down the street, period. Uh, all these things that we're seeing, um, it it's it's it, it could could make you where you know what there's nobody out there to be saved well the lord told me long ago that if there was nobody else out there to be saved i would have been back already okay so <laughs> keep working and keep knocking on these doors and so me and the brother um edwin from the samoan side of the church um he's going to school for his um doctrine divinity or i think something like that and so I said, wow, you know, if he's doing that, then maybe he'll be willing to help us go door to door and actually maybe be a Bible worker uh, for the English side of the church. So I talked to him and yes. he's, he's willing. He's definitely willing to do it. And we've been working together and um, just and trying to get, get this work. And man, Sabbath, we several people, we talked to, there was a brother we talked to, young brother, he's 18 years old, mm -hmm. and he says he needs to get back into the church, he needs to get back to the Lord, okay. I got his phone number, and so I'm just going to um, put him, uh, you know, because I can't go visit all these people, what I've been doing is I put it on, on my group text, and this is something you can okay. do, this is something I can show how do you do it, I put them on the group text, but I put it on broadcast, if you know how to do that. Um, if not, get with me because that's how you can actually start doing Bible studies with people without having to go to their house, spend an hour or 45 minutes uh, to an hour uh, with them and driving over there. Now you can actually send Bible studies through text, uh, group text, mass text. Um, nice. And yes, and get these out and, and just, um, you know, reach as many people as possible because it's just is so many people but it's not enough time that's right it's not enough time and so we in order for us to be able to we're gonna have to scale this up i mean when, when i think about business this is what they talk about scaling your business um being able to uh handle a mass amount of product to get out to uh, uh different organ uh to to the stores and things like that and it takes a lot of logistics to do that. And so it's the same on the, the, the spiritual side. Mm -hmm. You know, That's Jesus right. said that, you know, at 12 years old, don't you know that I'm about my father's business? Told to his mom and his dad is, you know, Mary and Joseph. And so, you know, when I look at business, I say, wow, you know, if we're going to scale in business, in in business, as far as trying to make profits for our our you know for our families and stuff, then we can do the same thing for winning souls for the Lord. Mm -hmm. And people are doing it. There's you know we got three ABN, we got all these different organizations, amazing facts and things like that. But now we need to do this locally as as well. So we need laborers. We need people. You know, we might need people who are going to stuff envelopes and 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 band uh, band up uh, postcards and uh, you know, uh, possibly if you're willing to go door to door. I mean, there is no shortage of work when it comes to the Word mm -hmm. of God, to the mm -hmm. Gospel of God. So right. there's always work. Amen. So, oh, any uh, any comments before I go forward? I'm, I know I'm just kind of. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, actually, this is our last uh, paragraph, and then we're going to uh, take prayer. Um, it says, all who are under the training of God need the quiet hour of communion with their own hearts, with nature, and with God. In them is to be revealed a life that is not in heart, that is, that's, no, let me go back. It says, in them is to be revealed a life that is not in harmony with the world okay praise the lord okay i know why <laughs> i thought i was gonna say something else okay it's it's customs and it's practices we already know romans chapter 12 right one and two mm -hmm. um, and they need to have a personal experience in obtaining a knowledge of the will of god we must individually hear him speaking to the heart when every other voice is hushed and in quietness we wait before him the silence of the soul makes more distinct the voice of god mm. who bids us be still and know that i am god psalms 46 and 10 this is the effectual preparation for all labor for god amidst the hurrying throng and the straining, the strain of life's intense activities, he who is thus refreshed will be surrounded with the atmosphere of light and peace. He will receive a new endowment of both physical and mental strength. His life will breathe out a fragrance and will reveal a divine power that will reach men's hearts. And that's Ministry of Healing, page 58.3. And so that actually concludes this chapter. So we have gone through three chapters. I believe it's, this is, we're, or we might be on the third chapter. Now we've gone through three chapters and of ministry of healing. And as you can see, it really didn't tell, talk about specifically um, about physical healing. It's talking about spiritual healing mm -hmm. because that's what needs to come first. That's what needs to come first, the spiritual healing. What makes the voice of God more distinct? When every other voice is hushed and in quietness we wait before him. That's beautiful. Amen. So we all, we have all these different voices in our head, these different uh, voices of people saying this and that or saying this about you or saying that about someone else or uh you know we have all these different we we're trying to make sense of that but the best way to uh silence those voices is go to a quiet place and listen to the voice of god and his voice will break through and he's going to tell you how much he loves you how much he cares with the plans my wife was just listening to uh, the uh, song uh, Neville Peter, and he said, God has great plans for you. So uh, we don't need to be stressed out because if we follow his plan, then we will see the, the, the ultimate plan that God has for us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's got the Amen. best plan for us. Yes. And, um, oh, I don't want to dominate the time if anyone has any comments uh, regarding this paragraph. I don't know. I just want to say that be still and know that I am God. It's such a simple yet powerful verse. Mm. And I think it's even more powerful today because with multimedia. Yes. With so much coming at us, even sometimes when I'm quiet, it's like I have to do it in two steps. I have to be quiet just to hear the quiet chatter. <laughs> that right. is, you know, and say, okay, Lord, I got you. I'm yeah. right. I'm listening. Because sometimes we're so unbar uh bombarded with things that even when we think we're quiet which we are quieter but we're not as quiet as we need to be 
to hear God and the Holy Spirit uh, speak to us. Mm -hmm. And if we make that sacrifice of time, I'm talking to myself, Mm. then we can get the peace that God promised. Amen. Amen. so even if we even if we feel like we're on the treadmill, God's promised us that He's got it all. So either He's going to shorten the period we're on the treadmill, or He's going to make it so we don't even feel like we're on the treadmill. Right. Amen. So yes, God wants to give us that peace. Matter of fact, uh, for the sake of time, um, we're going to look at. I'm just going to. To talk about First Thessalonians chapter four verse sixteen, and you know this verse by heart. Any of uh, you uh, devout Seven Day Adventists know, uh, and the, uh, the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with the shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. So we know that voice is going to raise us. That's that's you know the serious not only for day to day, but seriously that's the voice that's going to resurrect us. Mm -hmm. We need to get acquainted with that voice. Mm -hmm. That's how we're going to get up out of that grave if we're in that grave. Yeah, we need to know it. We need to know that voice. So it says that, um, and he which are uh, we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with those in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. words. Mm -hmm. That should bring peace to us, that God's voice is going to resurrect us in these last days, in the last days, and when Jesus Christ come. Uh, Isaiah chapter 52, and we're going to ask um, Brother Danny, if you could read Isaiah 52. Um, Let me see if he was able to stay on. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm here. All right, let's go to Isaiah 52, brother, if you're, if you. It, this phone is I like the uh, Hanukkah oil. 52 what? <laughs> Amen. 52, one and two. Okay. Awake, awake. Put on your strength, O Zion. Put your, put on your beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the city, holy city, for the uncircumcised and the unclean shall no longer come to you shake your selves from the dust arise sit down o jerusalem lose yourself from the bonds of your neck o captive daughter of zion mm. so mm-hmm. this is the this is what God is going to say when he resurrects, when he comes with the voice of the archangel. He's going to say, awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Mm-hmm. Put on thy beautiful garments. The beautiful garments is what? The robes Christ. of righteousness, mm-hmm. the incorruptible flesh. Yep. Woo, yes. <laughs> This is what's going to happen. And he, this is the voice. This is this. We need to hear his voice uh, day in, day out. I told I, I say this all the time that, you know, New Year, New Year's is coming up. People make New Year's resolutions. My New Year's resolution every single year is I want to hear God's voice. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Just block out all those other voices. Just mm-hmm. let them fade away. That's and we right. just need to hear his voice. That being said, God wants to hear your voice. He wants to pray. He wants you to pray to him. He knows what you need, but he wants us to be humble enough to come to him and ask him. And so uh, with that being said, let's uh, open the floor for prayer requests. I have a a blessing and and a prayer. I, yesterday, well, today, I was catapulted in retirement. And yesterday, I said, Lord, I prayed, you know, I was praying because 
you know, I'm thinking, okay, which way do I go? What do I do? Do I do this? Do I do that? Go here, do that. So, you know, I prayed and I said, Lord, I need to know exactly what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. If you open the door, I will walk through it. Mm -hmm. I just need your strength and I need your uh, guidance. Whatever door you open, I will walk through it. So I said, mm. you know, Lord, I, if you give me another job, then I will walk, I will take that other job that is not so strenuous on my back. Mm -hmm. And I said, whatever it is. So today, well, actually yesterday, my some odd reason, I very rarely listen to the messages on the phone because most of them are uh, market teller. Was, am yeah. I saying it wrong? Yeah. The, most mm -hmm. of them. And so I barely listen to the phone. I mean, I listen to the messages. Well, Holy Spirit encouraged me, listen to the messages. So I listened to the messages. Actually, I was supposed to listen to them yesterday. I got sidetracked mm -hmm. and then I ended up listening to them this morning. And my boss had called me. And she said, did you get the email? And so I'm sitting here thinking, what email? And I looked at my um, AOL and there was nothing. And so apparently it went to the KP email. And so she says, call me. And if it's after hours, call me at this number and blah, blah, blah. So I called her, you know, today when I got the message, I called her. And I said, it must be really, you know, something big because she called me on the house phone mm -hmm. and left a message for me to call her back. Normally, she would text me. Mm -hmm. So she, uh, she tells me my accepted declination is now non-accepted. Did she give a reason? And she, she read the letter to me, what was on the letter, there is no reason. It didn't meet their qualifications. And I said, well, what are their qualifications? That would be of my question. They, <laughs> of course, they're not telling you what their qualifications uh, are because you probably meet it. They just want you to be vaccinated. Mm -hmm. And I told her, I said, well, it's okay because I'm not getting vaccinated and it's okay. And she said, but I feel so bad. I said, don't worry about it because you know what? The Lord told me to call HR today. And so it was like a, a catapult into retirement. So I am after Monday, I have up until January the, I think it's the 10th. Mm -hmm. And I will no longer be employed with Kaiser. Mm. They will fire me. They will fire and you. So, yeah, they will uh, fire me. Now, if you file your retirement stuff right now, will that still be firing? I mean, no. not that it makes a difference, but. N no, it won't. You have to resign? I'm sorry? You have to resign or? No, they are fire me. Oh, I'm not resigning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Retire, um, retire. You deserve it. You deserve it. I've been keeping you in my prayers. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I praise the Lord for that. Yes. <laughs> so, so now my, my option is um, disability retirement mm -hmm. or just disability or just retirement. Okay. So I need prayers. So there, there's the, here comes the prayer part. <laughs> okay. I need prayers to, I, because I don't know anything of any of it, uh -huh. except for what I have um, researched <laughs> online, which is not very much because they only give you so much. Mm. Um, so I don't know. I, I certainly could go disability wise because I can't work. Yeah. not as a nurse. Mm -hmm. There's no way I can go back to the floor. So um, I, I could actually do the disability, but then 
I don't know if the disability retirement is the way to go or just disability is the way. I have no idea. Can the direction. Yeah, can the HR people uh, explain it to you? Like give you, like you can ask them or? Yeah, I talked to HR today, but actually it was under the retirement part and he didn't know. Mm-hmm. What, what about a disability attorney or something like that? I thought of consulting somebody like that. Yes, because I have a legal shield. It's only $20 a month. You only keep Mm -hmm. it for like two months and they can refer you to all kinds of attorneys to help you, which with a lot of situations, which has helped me so much. Just, just a suggestion. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Remote disability. Say it again. I'm on disability. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay. So you kind of know some of the um, things, the ways to do it. But you would probably want to get an attorney because they'll um, give you more in depth, you know, what, what you, what you're looking for and, issue, you know, help you to suit best your interest, you know, how you want mm-hmm. to hire. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. So we'll look into that. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Amen. And pray so. and, and pray for the people who don't have these options, who are that's it. They're just gonna get fired. Right. Yeah. Right. Mercy. Now I uh, you know, I'm surprised because this is uh California. Of course, you know, the uh president's mandate of vaccinating you know government employees, that's being put on hold. Uh yeah. but so this is California pushing it. Mm. whether there's anything in the works to get that um, uh, in any way reverted or, you know, stopped here, you know, in this state. Mm. We all got to move. Yes. Governor Newsom had a state mandate Newsom. pretty heavily mm. into place even before by yes. the federal, federal right so it's not helping california very much right but just like uh the federal isn't legal so isn't this one isn't legal legal either really so whether mm. somebody's actively fighting it or not yeah it's being contested i that i know there there are many groups that are fighting it and contesting it. Mm-hmm. Um, and we just have to pray because I also know that a lot of people that have been fighting have been losing and the judges are siding with the bad, I'll just say the bad guy. <laughs> because it's all part of a bigger agenda and everybody's right. at war. The Galian di- dialectic mm-hmm. of all the <laughs> Mm-hmm. Lord have mercy. Yeah, yes. when, there, when there's a coercion and mandates, that's not the spirit of God. Yes, exactly. Yes. Mm. For the constitution. Right. So, huh? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, she said it's not a spirit of God, and I said, or the constitution. That's right. Exactly. Mm. This I heard on uh, was it YouTube or uh, whatever. It comes up saying um, something about what you just said, Kim, about the unconstitutional and mm-hmm. kind of sue mm-hmm. Biden and all this stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have to also remember what Ellen G. White says that the time is coming when that won't mean anything. And of we're, course, we're seeing that yeah. peel back like a banana right now. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the exactly. unions, the unions too. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, was, um, I have family that works at bonds and stuff. Mm-hmm. They they hiring these young people or people, mostly young, 
who just walk around in the store and don't do work and they don't get fired. And these people have been there for years and they mm. get $15 an hour. It's like, what? But hey, that's the union. Mm. Mm. That's why this system is going to collapse. So yes. yep. um, uh, let's see, uh, any other prayer uh, would you like to add to the list? I do, may you, <laughs> uh -huh. I, I have learned, I'm learning and it's, it's a process, um, letting go, let, giving my ki kids to the Lord and just pray for them because, mm. you know, I, my, one of my daughters is always coerced and trying to coerce me to get the shot. I got one because I thought I was led and I don't know. But now mm -hmm. for the second one, I, I do not feel, I don't feel led, for, you know, for that. And speaking of taking that one shot, um, literally when I went to Kaiser, they shot me in my right arm. It felt like my arm was like getting numb and weird and stuff. And I prayed and took some charcoal, drank, I drank so much water, <laughs> but I feel better now. And it, I, I pray, I know it didn't affect me. I'm going to put that out there. But yeah, I'm not now after that i am not, i am not doing that you know so just keep mm. them in prayer because they really do need to be to have the lord they got all this stuff but they don't have the lord they don't mm. see it so that's mm. my prayer request mm -hmm. and this is for your uh for children children yeah okay. yes thank you you're welcome I have a prayer request that the Lord will silence my background and tell me what I need to hear and provide for me what I need to know and do so I can get busier. Mm. Busier in what he wants us to do for the soul salvation of others. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yeah, I would like a prayer for my for my family. Um, so that's my kids, uh, and then my my mom, my brother, and my husband, and of course my extended family. But uh, you know they're they're on my they're on my heart and um, yes. Yeah. This is that Adriana? Adriana? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Amen. All right. So, any other prayer request? No. Just my family. Family. Okay. What is his name? What's your name, sir? Danny. Danny. Hi. How are you? Fine. Okay. I forgot to take my meds and I got a big headache. Oh, no, um, no. Okay, so we're going to keep pray about that, too. Okay, yeah. if there's any other prayer requests, we're going to go ahead and... Um, what is yours? Do you, do you have one? Yes. Um, I forgot to say that um, working with Edwin... Okay. Um, this uh, guy that's going to be working as a Bible worker. Mm -hmm. So okay. pray that we can work uh, efficiently for the Lord. Okay. Amen. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. Okay, let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord, we just thank you for all these things that you have done in the past, how you have kept us, how you have brought uh, Sister Adriana out of the situation on Monday. Um, just the, the fact that you have, uh, you led my wife, uh, through the Holy spirit to check the messages when usually she doesn't, none of us check the messages. Um, and so you're, you're, you're a God that sees the end from the beginning and we love you because you care about us. You could have just yeah. let us fend for ourselves. You could have just let this world just rot away, mm -hmm. um, in, in the sinful acts of, 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 of the wicked um, but lord you have saw fit to uh, come and to make your presence known and to make your word known so that we can have a, a clear direction on 
uh, leaving this planet, on uh, leaving uh, the wickedness to be free from sin, Lord. And we just pray that you would um, continue to free us, uh, help us to see any of those things that are not like you in our hearts, the evil that is going against your word. Uh, we just pray that you would give us the strength, help us to see the sinfulness of, of those acts, Lord, and and that we and how it not only affects us, but it affects other people, how it affects mm -hmm. our family, Lord. Um, so, Lord, we just pray that we can uh, shed all those things more and more as we get closer, because we know the narrow, the way is getting narrow, Father, and we we don't we're not going to be able to hold on to these heavy sins and weights. Um, so that is just going to plunge us into the depths of 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 wickedness, Lord. And we just ask that you would um, just cleanse our hearts, Lord. Help us to see clearly um, those things that are causing us to be separated from you. Um, thank you for forgiving us, Lord. Thank you for cleansing us. You promised to do that. And all we have to do is ask and believe. It says that we should turn and repent and have, and we shall have mercy. And so thank you for having mercy upon us, Lord. Lord, we lift up um, Kim as uh, she is looking to find out which way to retire. We know that you have given us a clear path and you have uh, shown us that uh, this is a decision that we're going to have to make but help us to make the right decision in the right time frame, And we know that you're on time. There's so many times in just in my wife's life that you have seen that you were right on time. You have showed up exactly when we needed you. And so we know that you're gonna do this uh, as we go forward. We just pray that we can have completely complete faith in you and mm -hmm. that um, we um, just prepare for uh, the trials that will come. And so, Lord, we just thank you for what you're about to do and how you're going to lead us. Lord, we pray for those people who don't have the options that my wife has in order to, uh, when they when they get fired from Kaiser, um, some people are just going to be out of work. Mm -hmm. And I pray that you would help them, lead them to work that um, is going to accept their designation, that's going to accept their, um, the, their choice. Um, and Lord, that's where we're in uh, this country because we, this is supposedly the land of the free, but uh, increasingly our freedoms are being taken away. So we pray um, for those who are being um, uh, targeted by this, by this mandate, Lord. And uh, we know that you're going to work miracles, Lord, um, because we need it. There's no way we can get around it. Um, it's only going to be by you that we're going to make it through. So Lord, we pray for also uh, Edwin and um, as we're working together to uh, do the Bible work, to uh, share the gospel door to door, um, whether it be through the mail, whether it be through the phone, whether it be through Zoom, Lord, we just pray that we can be efficient with and, and win as many souls as, as possible. It says the wise win as souls, and we pray that we can have that wisdom. It says if, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God, and that's who we're coming to, we're coming to you to get that wisdom, Lord. We thank you for what you're about to do. We lift up Sister Adriana and her children, or her mom and her husband, Lord. We just pray that um, you will continue to work in their lives. We know we see that you're working in their lives. Uh, we might not be, it's it just like the seed that is planted under the ground. We don't know what is taking place under the, under the soil, but we by faith know that you are germinating those seeds. And so thank you for doing that. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. It works 24-7. We can't work 24-7. We have to rest. We have to um, uh, come back and, and, and retire away from the work of the day. Um, and you are there 24 hours a day working on their hearts. And we just thank you for that. Lord, we pray for Delana and her children that they be led by the Lord as well. And so, Lord, we just thank you for... Um, you know, just them being able to have uh, the knowledge through their mom, Lord, to uh, know which way to go and what direction to be led to you and to be led to uh, safety in your under your wings, Lord. And we just we just ask that you would uh, open their eyes, Lord, and help them to see uh, with spiritual eyes the direction that they should go, Lord. And we just thank you for what you're about to do in their lives as well. We pray for Brother Anthony to find balance 
in um, his uh, in the background um, and just uh, be able to help others um, and to be um, efficient in saving souls and to the salvation of others, Lord. And we just pray that we're that minded, that way minded, whether we're being at work, um, whether we'll be at the store, whether we'll be um, just, uh, you know, walking down the street or whatever we're doing uh, outside in the front of our house, Lord, we just pray that we are ready uh, to give an answer for those, uh, to those who have, who ask um, for the reason of the hope that lies within us with meekness and fear, Lord. Uh, we just thank you for us being here at the, uh, the prayer meeting so that we can learn more and be, uh, that we can sanctify God, you in our hearts, um, that we can uh, be um, grounded in, in the truth, just seriously grounded in the truth, Lord. And we pray for Brother Danny, pray for his family, we pray for his headache, Lord. We thank you for just making his battery last. And we know that you can send angels and the Holy Spirit to touch his, his, his forehead and the part of the uh, a brain of a part of his head that hurts. And we just pray that um, you will relieve him even now at the sound of our voice, at the sound of my voice, that, that uh, his pain will dissipate and that uh, he will feel the peace that you desire to, him to have. And we pray that everyone on this line will have that peace. I thank you for Delana just saying that, you know, that she had the peace um, now and she's able to uh, sleep. And, and we just pray the same thing for Brother Anthony and for all of us, Lord. Um, and we love you. We pray that we can love you uh, even more um, and pray that we can really see the ways that we can love you, how we can uh, better exemplify that love in our daily walk. In Jesus' holy and wonderful name, amen. 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 <laughs> all right, brothers and sisters, I appreciate you all coming out and thank you for the encouragement. And um, if any, just because it's prayer meeting on Wednesday does not mean you don't have to you send out, you know, ask for prayer later on this week. We're going to need each other more and more as time goes on. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So keep that in mind, brothers and sisters. All right. All right. So get some rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Good night. You'll be in our. Right. Good night. 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 Good night.